Blessings, everyone. I'm Evangelist Marlon Lopez, and I have with me here uh, Pastor Ivan Prince. He is the person in charge of the crusade in Uganda and also in Kenya. And I have him with me here just to speak briefly on um, what has been taking place and the progress that we've done so far in this time. Also, I want him to speak to me about the conditions of Uganda and just the overall situation that Africa as a whole is living in, in terms of spiritualness, in terms of witchcraft and that are common uh, matters or common spiritual issues that go on in Uganda. But I want to first welcome Brother Ivan with us. So welcome Brother Ivan. Yes, praise the Lord. I'm happy to be given this chance by Evangelist Marlon Lopez. Greetings everyone in the name of the Lord. I'm happy to be in charge uh, of this work going on here and uh, before I can talk about the work, um, I'm Pastor Ivan Prince, pastoring a church called Oasis of Life here in Kampala. But uh, also, uh, I preach the gospel all over Uganda. With the crusade we are arranging here in September, we have done a lot of work, um, and still more work is really needed because uh, we have. Uh, pastors who have come on board uh, with their, their congregation and they are willing to, 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 to help us gather the people, gather the, the congregation and then we are also trying to, to see how we can get to the media to, to, to see how we can really mobilize in, the, in that even those who are not Christians can come over on such an event. Actually it's a very big event, we are expecting a very big number of people. The venue is already found, the sound is already found, and uh, pastors are on board. Pastors are on board to help. Pastors are ready to push on this work that is going on. People have, have, have been here, some people have tried to come and preach, but on a small scale. They come to a certain village and preach. But uh, we are blessed that Evangelist Malone has brought a very big event whereby we are, w many people will be, will be reached out to, many people will be touched. There are people who have been here and have preached to, to 100 people, 10 people. That is very good because every soul in the kingdom is valuable, is valued. But, you know, such an opportunity whereby thousands thousands and thousands of people are coming it's a very big opportunity in that no one will be left behind no one is going to remain behind everyone is going to be touched um, Uganda is blessed to 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 have the move of God so far uh, our, our background has not been good when when it comes to the culture the beliefs and uh, whatever has been happening all over here people are so much mixed up into religion we have uh, uh, actually three kinds of religions that have caught up here we have the catholics we have the the anglican church and then we have the the islamic the the muslims and those are the the dominant religions that are here and then we have the african traditional uh, religion that one is 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 for every african believes it's it's our our root it's where we came from and you go to every home you'll find shrines even those who are in the cities who have who, who go to church still in uh, in their villages they have got shrines so they go back consult the, 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 the spirits of the family, speak to the dead. So a lot of things are here and people have different kind of beliefs. They believe even when you go to church, you it doesn't really remove the fact that uh, the people who died in the family are still to be worshipped and to be consulted in case of any problem, in case of any need, in case of maybe in, uh, a, uh, any kind of uh, advice. So Africa is so tied up. That's why you, you see a lot of poverty, a lot of so many things because people have not really seen the, 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 the real truth 
knowing the truth and getting to know about the Bible. But still, after getting into those religions, people have not really moved by the Word of God. They don't. They have not really been transformed. They they go to church, go to shrine. They go to church. They have ten wives. They have. Uh, they have. They have. Uh, they can do whatever they feel like doing. They can drink. They can booze. They can go to anything that they feel like. The whole of Africa, as I talked about Uganda, uh, every country in Africa has got, you know, those beliefs because I told you it's African traditional religion. So it means Africans generally believe that the, 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 they have a religion, they have a foundation of their faith, and that is believing and worshiping the dead the dead people people who die uh, africans believe they don't die they they continue to exist and people always are moved by you know by the guidance of those 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 uh, people who died and uh, africans believe when you die today then in the next evening you you already alive in the in the, the, the the land of the dead so people who are born they'll begin to worship you so as it is here in uganda still it's the same thing happening in kenya you'll find that in kenya it's just uh, the names of demons that differ but the operation and the way things are done they, they they are almost the same so in kenya still is the same thing uh, talking about um, the african traditional religion that uh, people believe in and uh, actually <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say but uh, even in my family back in the village of course there are people who still believe in that because uh, they think it's the root though you preach to them you tell them the truth they still believe it is it is uh, the root uh, we have uh, a demon called Yuruvale. Yuruvale is means the head of family so that demon uh, moves in every 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 kind of clan because we have different clans actually Uganda has got so many tribes and uh, each tribe has got clans and then uh, in every clan the, there is that demon called Yuruvale that is responsible for that family and then uh, we have uh, the demons that are that, that are responsible they think they are responsible for security and so on so many kind of of or, you know of uh, those demons so each person when they are born whoever is born in a family has got uh, uh, an attachment to such demons they begin to follow them so uh, such a revival when it comes you find that even the Christians they are those who have not been delivered from such demons because they follow every blood you know yeah it took me years actually up to now I still wrestle they still come to really follow me but because I get into prayer they move but it doesn't stop them from coming at night coming uh, maybe during day you see something terrible coming in the, in the night you see something funny coming so that's the life of people that they are living here there are those who have not been strong in faith to that level and uh, they even backslide they go back so such an event helps in that the church will be delivered the church will be set free and then too um, the, the, the people who have not received Christ are so many. In Mitiana, where we are going to hold an event here, we have the, the uh, actually the, the, the biggest percentage of people are into witchcraft and then Islam. Those are the two things here. Is it mainly Muslims and uh, the African tradition that I told you that is for everyone. Actually, even the Muslims still have that in them. The Catholics still have that in them. The Protestants still have that, that in them. But it is too much here. And uh, we are happy that uh, God has given us this opportunity. Evangelist Marlon Lopez to come and... Uh, by the move of God, by the grace of God, to see the hand of God touching the lives of people in Mitiana. Uh, people are so welcome. Uh, they have welcomed the event. They have, uh, the, the pastors have really been excited. Actually, they even pastors who are ready to be delivered.
you know they are ready to be delivered they are ready to be touched by this kind of anointing that is coming over here people have really been excited because they have problems they have issues they need the hand of god they need to be touched they need to be delivered they need to be set free they need god to visit them both the 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 the, the, the believers and the many believers amen yes i remember when we were in the hotel you were explaining to me about the whole uh, the whole african uh culture religion which is which is it, it caught my attention and as a matter of fact it became to me confirmation more of the preaching that I had prepared for that day but you knew nothing about it and in hotel you know and the Lord started to use you without you knowing and you started to tell me about this whole culture religion and how it works it was a great confirmation for me because then I I was able to um, you know to bring that in the message and and speak up more certain on on the message that I had for the for the people of Uganda for that time and and it was a great impact the lord moved me to make a call to those that were uh, a practice in this culture african religion and as a result we had we had many people that came up to the front surrendering their life to the lord and being delivered uh, from this culture religion that we know in reality is a practice of witchcraft but it is in Africa it's somewhat presented as something normal and and, and you know the outcome was great it was many deliverances on on, on, a, on a lot of individuals that were bounded by this uh, so-called cultural religion and and what I see is that it, th th this is something that has to be uprooted you know and it has to be uprooted uh, spiritually because it is a spiritual matter and that is why we, we have believed in the Lord you know that God is guiding us uh, into Africa as a whole and as a continent but you know we're starting out in Uganda and we're and we're also going to expand into Kenya and so on as the Lord guides us now you know we are investing a, a great lot of money in this event in this revival because we are trusting in the Lord you know our I, I remember that the initial budget um, that you presented to us was almost uh, $80,000 or so and I remember that I asked you to make some cuts because you know we wanted to reach not only not only Uganda but also but we also wanted to reach in Kenya so what we've done is that we established a $50,000 budget for each of these countries and and we have reached out to the to the brothers we've reached out through the social medias and we have you know requested donations so we can make it to this country because I, I believe that with the type of ministry that the Lord has given us ministry of deliverance overall um, our ministry can be you know so uh, can be of, of help to the people of Uganda to the people of Kenya so and brother now now this is something that we have been going on and you know that has been going on for maybe eight uh, nine months or so that has been carefully thought and has been carefully organized and as you mentioned you know we're kind of with the support of the pastors and we're trying to unite as many pastors as we can to come on board to help us out because we, we know definitely that Africa you know needs an impact of God and I believe that you know God is starting to do so now this impact we want to bring a much broader we want to reach a much larger audience because we we're, we're believing in the Lord the, that the Lord can bring a great impact to this nation and not only the nation you know also other countries you know as we mentioned earlier Kenya and other ones what we're doing is we're starting out with with Uganda and we're starting out with Kenya and we definitely ask everyone for the support uh, this is something that we can't do alone. It's a hundred thousand dollars, and it's a challenge. But we're we're trusting in the Lord. And we know that the Lord uh, will provide everything that we need so we can make it there. Now, brother, any words of encouragement to those brothers that are listening, and that they follow our ministry, you know, so um, so they can be motivated also to give for this purpose. We definitely need everyone's support. This is something that that we need everyone to gather with us, so together we can break the yokes of the devil. Uh, about uh, the, the money that we need, the funds, uh, I would like to, to speak uh, to everyone listening, all the brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter which, which kind of anointing you, you, you operate in, because we have the fivefold ministry. You know, sometimes 
I don't know about there, but here in Uganda or in Africa, you find that the body of Christ has neglected, you know, the other callings. You know, if someone is called to be a pastor, we feel like we can support the pastoral ministry. And if we are called to be apostles, so we can support the apostolic ministry and we neglect the other the other ministry. Now, on the other, on this issue, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking and uh, requesting and praying uh, for each and everybody that this is not about Evangelist Marlon Lopez. It's not about uh, Pastor Ivan speaking. It's not about anything or anybody. It's about the souls. The money that uh, people are going to invest in their souls, the greatest the greatest investment that we can do when we are still on the earth is when we invest in souls. That's why God has blessed us. He blesses us so that we can bless the, the nations with the gospel. So that is a very big investment. Every money that you invest in the kingdom, one time God is going to reward you. So I request everyone listening that we get into this move and we saw in the ministry we saw in this work we still have to do a lot of things that budget is it, it sounds big but we we need to do a lot of things because we have to go on the radios we have radios we have to do posters we have to do actually drives we have to 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 to, to do um we, we actually had the billboards the tv um those ones we put on a hold because we don't know how how it will come up i mean the fundraising but we we had all the plan of all these things why it's not just to waste money but we want everyone to get to know to, to be aware of this event we have prayed we have fasted and god has been speaking god has been revealing to many people he has spoken to me he has spoken to evangelist malone he has spoken to the pastors there are many pastors here who have never seen evangelist malone but they they feel they are driven to join the move of what is going to happen and uh, as a matter of fact uh, everyone is prepared at least those who have heard about it they have been prepared spiritually and physically so I just request every money that you can sow you can sow as much as you can please because um, we need to, to, to move on with this work we still have uh, around two months now just two months remaining and then we need to go to the media directly the radios will begin immediately um, evangelist malone has been spending his personal money on uh, most of the preparations because we had to i had to move meet pastors and he has been facilitating me on his personal money but the man of god has sacrificed and uh, many many of you want to thank you who have donated your money has also been part of what we have been preparing before because we have been having pa pastors meetings we have been uh, arranging different kind of things i have to tr i had to travel to kenya also to see what is going on there because after here we are going to kenya so all that money has been spent on that and uh, still as i told you the journey is still long the money is really needed so that we can sort out these things in the mighty name of jesus god will bless you god will continue to provide you for whichever money whichever blessing that you give well brother it's been a blessing having you here with us you know um and, I, and i'm grateful that god has given us the opportunity for us to talk we greatly appreciate having you speak on these topics i believe they're very important for us to know and understand them better and i think you have greatly enlightened us on these topics which are very important and very relevant to what is you know the ministry and and, and everything else so god bless you brother and it was nice having you blessings amen 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 uh, i'm also grateful to have this opportunity to speak to the brothers uh, on live on air bless you so much and greetings from down here in africa god bless you and love you thank you everybody